Well, let's take a look at Mel's latest big board and look at the top three quarterbacks in it for next year. You've got Pitts, Kenny Pickett. Uh, ranked number 20 overall on the big board. He's third in the country in total QBR, fifth in passing yards, third in touchdown passes. Liberty's Malik Willis is 25th overall on Mel's board. He's thrown for over 2,100 yards, 21 touchdowns. He's also run for 10 touchdowns this year. And then Mel's number three quarterback is Ole Miss's Matt Corral, who's thrown for over 2,500 yards, 16 touchdowns this year. He's second in the SEC in yards per pass attempt this year. So looking at the top 10 on the big board right now, we've got seven defensive players led by Oregon's Kayvon Thibodeau. Only one offensive skill position player in the top 10 is USC's wideout Drake London. And so, Mel, let's bring it back here. Again, no quarterbacks as of right now until number 20 on the big board. All things considered, how does this class – at quarterback compared to last year? Not nearly as good, but I think there's some intriguing guys. Kenny Pickett to me is like a Derek Carr. Derek Carr at Fresno State was a borderline first. I had a first round grade him when he dropped to the early second round, 36th pick overall. Uh, you know, Blake Bortles, Johnny Manziel, Teddy Bridgewater went ahead of him. Remember, Jimmy Garoppolo went in the second round that same year. But I think you look at a Derek Carr type is what Kenny Pickett is. Last year he had the ankle. This year he's healthy and he's lighting it up. And he brings that same skill set that Derek Carr had to a football team in the NFL, probably as a later first-round pick, maybe a mid-first-round pick. You would say, what quarterback has the most upside? Quarterback you didn't mention, Green, is Desmond Ritter at Cincinnati. Physically, athletically, he has it all. Precise, accurate passing, lacks consistency there. Same thing with Josh Allen. If you can fix that, Desmond Ritter, of all these quarterbacks, may have the most upside going into the NFL. David, you look skeptical on that one. De Desmond Ritter is very easy to like, very hard to love. Oh. Like he he's got great in, he's got the great intangibles he's got the great height he's got he makes things very difficult for his wide receivers consistently so I just from an accuracy standpoint Mel I just I, I the struggles the the easy layups yeah. the missed free throws those those are a hard thing to fall in love then, with. then let me ask you David just on the names I'm, here I'm at with the top. you I'm with you Dave I'm with you yeah right. Go ahead Mel because I just want to get one more thing in quickly while I have you guys here I, yeah. so I could do this no, for three hours. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah, to me, what David just said is exactly what Josh Allen. Josh Allen had some of those throws, those head scratchers, and they were able to fix. I agree with you 100%, David. The accuracy, the precise passing is lacking, but the talent there with Desmond Ritter is certainly evident week in and week out. Well, and Allen wound up going in the top 10. I mean, he was the third quarterback taken that year, all, all things considered, but he was in the top 10 of that draft. So one way or the other, quickly, of these guys, who, who do you think will be the first of them taken? Which I the love Kenny Pickett. Kenny Pickett. I, Kenny Pickett, to me, is Matt Ryan with more athletic ability. I, I mean, I, I just... Two glove, two glove, Kenny. I mean, he just—he's got those two gloves on. But accuracy, you see, you see the footwork. He can really change uh, directions. He can go through progressions. He, he's been an amazing guy to watch because when he first started, remember he came on the scene. Miami was ranked number two in the country. Mm -hmm. He knocks them off as a, as a true freshman, you know. And then five years later, you think about this guy. He used to be an athletic quarterback that left the pocket. He knows his answers. He throws a great ball. Like, I watch him sometimes and I see Joe Burrow, like a B-plus Joe Burrow. Yeah. I mean, good names come to mind when I see Kenny Pickett. He's, he's a stud. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.